gas. We're here today with the all new Power Mig 220 ACDC, and then we got the Square Wave 205 right next to it. So, in this video today, we're just going to talk about each different functions on these two units, uh, what the main difference is on them, and just kind of compare the two and kind of guys give you guys a reason or benefits of each, whether you want this one or that one. So, um, the Square Wave 205, now I'm going with both of these units, the 220 and the 205, both well really nice take aluminum which is awesome uh, the square wave 205 is new to the market too um, it actually welds take aluminum really really well it runs 6010 really really well same thing with the power make 220 aluminum really really nice 6010 really nice um, but the main difference really is this is just a square wave so you're limited to take stick functions only on this unit now the power make 220 you got MIG output, stick output, and take output. So if you're going to be MIG welding, get the 220. If you're not going to MIG weld, only TIG and stick, the square wave might be a better bet. But at the end of the day, I mean, you can see the main differences between the screens, right? Huge seven inch screen, and then you got a little tiny screen over here. I mean, very nice display on the 220. Did an awesome job on that. Very easy to read, easy to set up. This one though, same thing, easy to set up, easy to see. Um, and basically they're duty cycles to kind of give you a, uh, this unit right here is 100% at 85 amps on 110. And this one's 100% at 90 amps on 110. And then both of them hooked up to 220, 100% duty cycle at 130 amps. Now that's the TIG output. Um, that's what a lot of people care about, right? In the AC TIG world, how many amps can I get at 100% duty cycle? Both of them are 100. 130 amps at 220, so hooked up to 220, awesome little thing. But you can see, I mean, we got two doors right here, but obviously this one is for our mid setup, right? And this unit is just for storage with the TIG torch. Both come with the same TIG torch. They're flex head WP-17. Uh, both come with a foot pedal, so that's pretty standard. Both come with the same stinger and ground. Um, but this one, obviously, MIG weld, so it comes with a MIG gun. Spool, wire, contact tips, all the consumables to get you going. Uh, start up, all you need to do is add gas. Uh, this one has one gas inlet on the back. This one has two for MIG and TIG, so you don't contaminate between the two. Uh, pretty nice machine saw. I mean, you can see this one is actually much lighter than this one. This one's 51 pounds. So, uh, I mean, they're, they're, you can see the physical size difference. but. It all boils down to what you want to do or what you're going to be doing. So like I said, if you're only going to TIG weld and stick weld, take a look at the square wave. But if there's a chance that you're going to make weld, go with the 220 because to go back, you can't add it to this one and you don't have to use it on this one, right? So, I mean, but most people that we run into, right, they want to make weld and then they want to learn how to TIG weld. So the 220 is the one for attack. So that, that, that would be your best bet for that situation. Uh, the Square Wave, awesome little machine like I said. I've seen them in fab shops, run in production parts, and they, they're, they're awesome. They hold up, now obviously lower amperage right for that production part, and you're, you're limited to your torch being a little hot and that kind of thing, but both of them, very awesome machines. So if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more. The question is, which one would I buy, right? So. I guess it would be dependent on what I do, but I love the screen on this 220. I love the MIG output on it, so I would probably go with the 220 just because of the MIG output. It, TIG weld's awesome, so does the square wave, but I always use a MIG welder over the TIG welder uh, just on hot jobs, that kind of thing, you know, fixing little parts or doing something in the field. Plug it in, you can MIG weld it, it's super easy. Um, run inner shield wire, you don't have to have gas. I, I like the 220. Awesome little machine. But I'm not discrediting the two of mine. It's still a bad little guy.